Today we're going to show you ways to use different types of ribbon and flowers together to enhance either your product, your packages, or your displays in your showrooms. We all have one of those little treasure boxes that we call that's got little odds and ends of this and that, and that's what mostly we're going to use today and show you how beautiful it can become. This is our finished product right here. Now we're going to show you how we did that. We're going to take this beautiful package. We're going to start off by tying this. Now one hint, when you tie this, normally it's kind of slippery, so you always need somebody to help you. But if you will just tie this two times, it helps hold that knot in place and you don't have to worry about someone helping you do that because we're only using just our own, okay? So you want to tie that it's nice and secure. If you're going to use different types of ribbon, it's best to use a smaller ribbon first because it's going to be in the center. So this is a little number five ribbon and you just start by simply making a couple of loops like this. And with these packages, you don't need a whole lot of loops on there, just a little bit at a time. Always cut at an angle so you have a nice finish into it. You can use your second one and you can use two together because these are a little bit smaller and thinner so they're not so hard to hold. And again, you just make a couple of loops like this. You don't have to be real particular. Cut it again at an angle like this. And then you use your larger size ribbon to give you the backing that you need for this bow. And this is probably, you're probably using about a yard of ribbon of each type, so you don't have to use too much. And instead of using, opening a whole brand new roll, why don't we look on that shelf and look at all the different ribbons that we have, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And that's where we can save some money and use up all that wonderful ribbon that we really didn't have enough to make a whole large bow, but we're gonna use a smaller bow. Once it's this way, you can just lay it down and just fluff it out like this. Fluff it like this, and so you don't have to worry about fluffing it as you're making it. You always have plenty of time to fluff it now. Then take the two pieces that you just tied, tie them to the center of your bow like this, and you can just do this one time. It holds pretty tight like this. So see, you already have your package beautifully wrapped. Make some curly cues in here. And if you messed up like I just did, just give it a nice little quick curl like this. Now you can attach all those little pieces of flowers that you have, just the little blooms. Add a little bit of hot glue and just go right in the center of your bow this way, just like that. You can use one, you can use two, you can use three, because you're going to use different, different amounts as you go. But like I said, you might have something that's completely different. But when you're doing this, it's great because everything will coordinate together. So see how pretty that is already? You can add some of those little leaves. I'm sure we have a bunch of little leaves in our treasure box. And you want to slip those kind of like underneath like this. You have a nice little cluster like this here that has several leaves on it. Just stick it down in the middle and it gives it some height. These are some beautiful ribbon roses that we made. They're real simple to make, and you just hot glue those down here in the center. See like that? And we have another one over here. And you're just gonna lift your ribbon up a little bit so that it places down in the center, just like that. Okay? Then if you wanna add a little bit extra, you can add a beautiful little butterfly to it. Just put a little bit of hot glue on the back. Sometimes these come with the stem, but you don't need to worry about the stem, just hot glue the whole butterfly down in the center. And it will attach to one of these ribbon loops, just like that, okay? And that's your finished product, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a few other things that we used, and we're gonna use these as display items, not just beautiful packages, okay? So we're gonna move this over. This is another one of our packages that's already finished, and you can see that we use coordinated ribbons on each side. There's three different ribbons on here, and it could be just like, you know, one or two feet of a ribbon. You don't have to use three yards of anything. So you're gonna use your one package without a bow, place it up here like this. And whatever you have in your shop, maybe you do have some um, ballerina ornaments or a ballerina look, you can add something like this on here. Then use a little picture frame, and then use your little ballerina here. 
So whatever item that you're showing in your shop is beautiful, and if it's sitting on your shelf like this, it's very pretty. But when you incorporate it with the other, with the packages and the platform, you can see that it's, your customer's drawing his eye to it, and it really brings attention, and it makes it a little bit more sellable. Maybe you can sell a little bit more. These beautiful vases and the Mother's Day mug that you have, they're again, they're beautiful on the shelf, but now if you place them with your package on the bottom, you have a whole new display. So it's gonna draw attention to this. It's really gonna make that shelf that these were sitting on something that the customer's gonna see and wanna go to it. A bridal register, just wrap a beautiful present like this, doesn't have to have anything in it. And you might have some candlesticks that you're selling. So of course this is beautiful like it is. But if we'll take this candlestick and just tie a loop of ribbon that coordinates with your package, now, again, it's drawing attention to it. And if you add a beautiful candle to it, you can add the candle to it, and then you can add the little misses to it. So you have a whole new display, and wow, because this package is so pretty that you've made, you really have something that the customer's gonna love coming to and say, oh, well, so now you're not only selling the candlesticks, but the candle and all the ribbon, they might wanna use this as a pew bow at their wedding. Also, with not just only the treasure box that we have that I keep calling it, it has lots of ends. Sometimes we have pieces like from a garland or a wreath that we haven't used all together. So what we did here is we took this little pieces of the garland that was left over and we just attached it to the package. And it's real easy, just hot glue it, put your bow on first, that way you can glue to it. And then it added a couple of more butterflies to it. And again, this is beautiful with whatever else that you have in your display that you're trying to sell, whether it might be some more candlesticks or a pretty picture. Also the bird nest was something that was just left over we added a butterfly to it and you have the beautiful robin eggs to go with it. And you have plenty of room here also to incorporate some of your Mother's Day items so that again it draws attention to it. Children, we cannot forget them. There's lots of times that we want to decorate and it gets a little bit expensive. So we've wrapped a present here. We added the little windmills to it like this. And it's pretty by itself. You can have three or four of them down the table for decorations. But again, if you place it on a package, add another package to it, add your happy birthday plush to it, and you can give these little whirly birds as the, as the gifts for the kids. So that's just another idea of how to use it and not cost too much money, but you're selling now the little happy birthday. Let's don't forget our pretty Easter baskets at Easter time. And again, we have used three of the ribbons here and we've attached the little Easter eggs with a happy Easter on the top. And this doesn't all do, always have to be for children. This certainly could be for adults. You could put bath products in here. You could do a sort of gourmet coffees, but it is an Easter basket, so dress it up. The big folks like to get Easter baskets also. And again, you have wrapped this beautiful present. We've added the Easter bunny and we've toned it down in the colors because the, the peaches are so popular right now and all of the beautiful printer ribbons. This again could be with the display of your Easter candies or Easter products, even your Easter plants. A couple of Easter lilies would be beautiful sit next to this box. If you have just a simple gift to give, or again, you just wanna do something special, maybe teacher's gifts or something, these are real cute little bunny ears. It's just a pick that we've had attached two of them to the package and it makes a nice, pretty presentation. This would be cute if you had an assortment of plush animals that you could just sit this next to it. It would really enhance the look. And we have our big box here. Again, what we're trying to do here is we have these beautiful plush owls. Again, you might have plush animals that you could sit next to it with the Easter eggs here and the beautiful pinks and lavenders for Easter. Then we have our Halloween. This beautiful package, whatever uh, wrapping paper you would like. This one I found that's in black stripes. Again, you're using three different types of ribbon. The little witch's hat, which she is precious sitting up here. 
Halloween is one of our biggest holidays and we're always looking for different types of decor to use. If you had C sitting around, it would be just wonderful. You could do three of them. It's very inexpensive. We don't have to use the flowers. We're just using the silks. And you can put these away and use them again next year. <clears throat> Look at this cute little eyeball. We use the same paper. We've used a little bit of the mesh in here, the burlap ribbon, and then the balloon ribbon here too. Again, with this being so cute, if you had several of these down the table, make a beautiful display for you. And we, what we did here is we used the ribbon first and the mesh. We glued everything down to the top of the box. Then we glued the eyeball right on top. And this could be any decor that you have. It could be assortment of pumpkins or maybe a trick-or-treat bag, something like that that you're selling in your shop that you want to sell. And by having these packages, you can use all your other product around it. Then you have fall. And I know that probably we have several pumpkins laying around that we just have ones of, or you know, you might have a larger one or a smaller one. If you just decorate it like this, it makes a wonderful gift item, an open house, because you're gonna be going to a lot of parties. And again, we have used two different types, three different types of ribbon, some little odds and end pieces out of our treasure box, and you have a wonderful little display there. And it's now sellable where it wasn't sellable before because it was sitting in our treasure box. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. I enjoyed doing this so much for you because I love ribbon and bows. And if you do have any questions about how any of this is made, please contact us here at Burton Burton. We have more information for you. We'd be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much. Thank you.